Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns. I'm here in downtown Chicago. As you can see, it's a beautiful day here. And I'm here with Haley and Sloan and they're my brother's daughters. And we're really having a good time as people walk right in front of the camera. Thank you. Welcome to 333 Magic 9, your astrology channel. And I'm here with Haley and Sloan. And these are my brother's children, his two daughters. And they're just lovely and they're lots of fun. Now, August is going to be a very exciting month. We're going to have a new moon on the 6th. And following that, there's going to be an opposition of Jupiter and Pluto, which can really shake things up. Then later in the month, Jupiter will square Uranus. Another exciting aspect. Now, here's what all that means for your sign. There's a new moon in Leo on August 6th. Virgo, the new moon on August 6th falls in your 12th house of hidden and secretive matters, and it's in the sign of Leo. Now, this is not the most favorable time for you to try to make a big impression, especially with new people. That might come next month. You may have to take some extra time to be quiet. You may want to heal your inner child and regenerate it. So, yoga, Meditation, prayer, and things of that nature will be very helpful to help you reinvigorate yourself. That will prepare you for next month when you step out on center stage. Jupiter is in opposition to Pluto on August 7th. Jupiter in Cancer opposes Pluto in Capricorn. This is a major aspect that can bring challenging, earth-shaking, and long-term effects on the educational, political, financial, and legal systems. It represents power plays, the manipulation of money and people, and legal reform. Scandals can be revealed, and there is retribution for those who have misused power. There can be scientific breakthroughs and great gains for those people who have spoken and stood behind their truth. Virgo, the opposition of Jupiter in Cancer in your 11th house to Pluto in your 5th house, and the sign of Capricorn, by the way, suggests that you are seeking a sense of power and belonging that can only be found by involving yourself with like-minded people and organizations. Step out and become more socially and politically involved and aware of what's going on around you. You can probably even network yourself to success if you try. However, the opposition to Pluto in your fifth house suggests you may be torn between what you want to give to others and what you need for yourself. Self-indulgence and the foolish pursuit of pleasure may steal your energy and block your success. So you must balance what your personal treasures are to your cultural treasures. So try to find a happy medium. Jupiter squares Uranus on August 22nd. Now this is a challenging aspect between usually two friendly energies. It can suggest a time of impracticality and willful activity. You may want to have a wild fling, but don't think it will last forever, because it won't. You'll be disappointed. Remember, if something sounds too good to be true, it probably is. So keep an open mind, but keep yourself in line a little bit, keeping a little control. Now you can expect the unexpected to occur, but just be careful when it comes to excessive action and money. Virgo, Jupiter in Cancer in your 11th house squares Uranus in Aries in your 8th house. Now you are open to new and expansive experiences that come through social or business contacts. You may feel that there are opportunities out there just waiting for you, and you might want to better the world as you know it. However, the square to Uranus in your eighth house suggests that your intuition might not be working all that well. 
what you feel about others might be wishful thinking rather than reality. If you choose the wrong people for the wrong reasons, you'll pay a dear emotional price. Please maintain your clarity. These predictions were based on your sun sign, and if you'd like more accurate information, you can go to my website, professorastrology.com, and there you can find a way to order a transit chart, which is based on your time, date, and place of birth, and it's personalized for you for the next 12 months. Now, on behalf of Haley and Sloan, I'd like to thank you for watching. I'd like to thank you for listening. Make sure you like this video, and please feel free to share it with your friends because it's free. It's like everything here on YouTube. So have a great month.